God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill, church. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Never give up on him. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. He's able, oh, 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 he's able, he's able, oh, 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 he's able, sing it again, God, God is able to do just what he said he would do, he's going to fulfill every promise to you don't give up on God cause he won't give up on you cause he's able oh 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 oh, 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 oh he's able he's able oh 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 oh, 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 oh cause he's able Come on, he's able, he's able. Come on, somebody, sing it with me this morning. He's able, he's able, he's able. Come on, sing it again. Because he's able, he's able. I feel the Holy Ghost. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We glorify you, Lord. Glorify you, Lord. Because he's able, he's able. Listen here, someone's getting a victory this morning. Someone's getting a breakthrough right now. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Come on and sing it with me. He's able, because he's able, he's able, he's able. There's a breakthrough, there's a shift in the atmosphere. He's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, because he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, my God, my God, my God. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as we minister to your wonderful, precious people on this morning, encourage them, bring strength bring direction, lift their spirits up this morning, feed them with fresh bread from heaven on this morning, give us our daily bread, bless your people, your precious people, let them feel your love on this morning, let them feel your arms of compassion, your tender caring arms this morning, wrap them of love around us, in the name of Jesus Christ we pray, someone say a good amen right there. Now listen, on this morning, I want to talk to you about this, God's power in action. You know, we've been talking a whole lot about the power of God this entire week because I'm just building your faith up, preparing you to receive your miracle from God, your touch from God. You know, we have to put our faith back in the power of God. He is not dead. He is alive. He is still opening the eyes of the blind, still unstopping the ears of the deaf, and still making the cripples to get up and walk. Glory to God. I want to take you into the book of Luke chapter 5, verses 17 through 25. The Bible says, And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Glory to God. The power of the Lord was present to heal them. And you know, many people, they said, Pastor, you know, I'm listening to your broadcast and I can feel the power of God. It's the Holy Ghost. And we say to God alone belongs all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In our meetings, when we do a crusade or a miracle service, there comes a point in that service, the power and the presence 
of God is so real. We call it a miracle working anointing. When the power of God comes down for miracles, just awesome things begin to take place. I remember in a meeting right here in Dallas, Texas, a woman who had pins and screws in her neck from a terrible car accident was not able to turn her neck properly. Listen, when the power of God touched down on that meeting and we prayed for that woman, the Holy Ghost healed that woman. She was able to turn her neck to the left, to the right, and the leg that she had problem lifting. She was all, she was like partially paralyzed on one side. That woman began to lift her legs high and walk up and down. Man, I tell you, we just went wild in that meeting. So the power of God is real. Now watch this. The Bible says in verse 18, and behold, men brought in a bed, a man which was taken with a palsy. He was paralyzed and they sought means to bring him in and to lay him before Jesus. And when they could not find a way that they might bring him in because of the multitude, these are my kind of guys. They went upon the housetop. They went on top of the roof, man. And let him then now see. It says they went on top the on top the, on on the house top and let him down through the tiling with his couch into the midst before Jesus. Now I love the way Mark said it. Mark said when they had broken the roof up, uh, that's my kind of action right there, kind of Shambach style. <laughs> Ripped the roof open. They busted a hole in the roof. That's how hungry these men were. They were so determined to get their friend to Jesus. They knew it was time for his miracle. And you know, you're going to look crazy. You are going to look crazy in the eyes of everybody else who is not walking my faith or who are not in the spirit because they were thinking, what are these knuckleheads doing on top there, ripping the roof open to let this man down to Jesus. But the Bible says when Jesus, uh, Mark says when Jesus saw their faith, you see what everyone else calls foolishness, Jesus calls it faith. They were hungry. So they ripped the roof open and they begin to let their friend down to Jesus. Verse 20, and when Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the man, son, your sins are forgiven thee. And when the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, who is this which speaketh blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? When Jesus perceived their thoughts, he answering said unto them, why are you reasoning in your hearts? Now they were thinking this in their hearts and Jesus is answering their thoughts because the Holy Ghost exposed them to Jesus. He exposed the very thoughts that they were thinking against Jesus. I love what Jesus said. In verse 23, Jesus said, which one is easier? Whether it's easier to say, thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, rise, take up your bed and walk. But that you may know, oh, glory to God, watch this. But that you may know that the Son of Man has power upon the earth to forgive sins. He said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto you, rise and take up your couch or your bed and go into your house. Verse 25 says, and immediately he rose up before them all and he took up the bed whereon he lay and departed to his own house, glorifying God. Notice what Jesus said, that you may know that the son of man has power on earth to forgive sins. He said unto the sick of the palsy, take up your bed and walk. And immediately it happened. Now you've got to understand this about a healing ministry. The power of God in demonstration, healing the sick, opening the eyes of the blind, unstopping the ears of the deaf, healing cancer, causing the cripples to get up and walk. Are you listening to me? Mending together broken bones and broken lives. Listen, when God's healing power is in manifestation, that's to let us know that Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, the savior, the Messiah, that lets me and you know that he has power on earth to forgive sins. The same power that forgives sins, it's the same power that heals the sick. You know, in many of our churches, we are taught from young, or oh, if you ask God to forgive you, he'll do it. And we were trained to believe that when you ask God to forgive you, he forgives you. But we were not trained that when you ask God to heal you, that he does it. 
had we been trained from young children that when we ask God to heal us, he does it, there would be so much more of us receiving our miracles. And, but that's why we are teaching you this week on the power of God because his power is available to heal you of whatever sickness or disease you may have in your body. You may be dying of cancer. You may be totally blind. You may have lost your eyesight. Your legs might have been paralyzed. But my Bible says with God, all things are possible. The angel said to Mary, for with God, absolutely nothing should be impossible. Nothing is impossible with this God that we serve. He is still healing the sick. He is still casting out devils. He is still mending broken bones together. He is still setting the drug addicts free. He is still getting the prisoners from out of jail. He is a miracle working God. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. If you need a miracle from God. Cry out to him. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33, verse 3, God says, call unto me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you know not. Your situation is not too hard for God. All he asks you to do is come in simple, childlike faith and believe him and trust him. The Bible says in Mark chapter 9, verse 23, all things are possible to them who believe. Do do you believe this morning? If you believe the word of God, if you believe Jesus to, to be the Messiah, the son of God, if you believe Jesus to be the healer, glory to God, if you put your faith in him, if you believe he will touch you, he will heal you right where you are, my friend. Let's sing it this morning. God is able. God is able to do. Come on. Just what he said what he would do. He's going to fulfill it's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Never give up on him. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. Cause he's able. Oh, 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 oh. he's able. He's able. Oh, 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 he's able. Listen. I just can't go from here like this. Someone listening to the word say, Pastor, I need my sins forgiven on this morning. Keep playing that. It's very simple. Keep playing that. It's very simple. Just ask him. Repeat after me right now. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all of my sins. Wash me in your blood. I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that you are the son of of the living God. You died on Calvary cross that I might receive forgiveness of sins. God has forgiven you of your sins right now. Your sins are forgiven. It's that simple. He just asked that you believe. You know, in that instant, while I was leading someone to Christ, I felt the healing power of God like just a heat from the Holy Ghost down my left side. And that's the Holy Ghost signaling to me that someone is receiving a miracle in their left side right now. Give me my floor, I feel the anointing. Someone is receiving a miracle of healing along their left side right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke the spirit of infirmity. We release the healing power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed in your body right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed from chronic pain. Be healed from sickness. Be healed from disease. In the name of Jesus. Listen. Right along someone's left side. I don't know if you suffered from some type of stroke. But down your left side. Down your left arm. Along the left side of your body. All the way down into your left leg. The Holy Ghost is touching you and healing you. Right now begin to do what you couldn't do before. Some of you feel a heat going through your body. Some of you feel a warmth. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Receive the touch of God. I feel the power of God moving here this morning. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Be healed in your body from the crown of your head 
to the soles of your feet. Hallelujah. If you receive a healing on this morning, I want you to acknowledge it right under the video. Email it to us, info at seanpinder.net so we can share your testimony. Glory to God, I felt the power of God moving and going out into people's bodies. And listen here, friends, I'm asking you to visit us online, support the work of God. We are preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And you know we are not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. It is the power of God unto salvation. Jesus said, if I be lifted up from this earth, I will draw all men unto me. And that's exactly what we are doing. But you can sow a seed into the ministry through our ministry secure website. That information is seanpinder.net forward slash give. seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries. paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also mail in your donations. Make sure make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas 75011 7442. You know we love you guys, right? You know we really appreciate you. We really don't take you for granted. We do. That's why we are here with you bringing in these mornings in the presence of God, worshiping God, just loving on God. Isn't he an awesome God? I just want to sing that for someone, awesome God. Awesome God, how great, how great thou art. You are God, and mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow. Lord, we bow and worship you. Come on and sing it with me another time. Awesome God, how great thou art. You are God and mighty are your miracles. We stand in awe of your holy name Lord we bow and worship you come on and sing it another time awesome God how great thou art you are God and mighty are your miracles we stand in awe of your holy name Lord we bow and worship listen never forget this Pastor Sean and Pastor Amy we love you we care about you we are here for you we are believing God with you for your miracle for your breakthrough for your turnaround God bless you looking forward to seeing you again on tomorrow morning on another morning prayer broadcast God bless you take care now bye bye Pastor Sean Pender is coming to Freeport, Bahamas. He invites you to the Freeport Miracle Crusade to be impacted by the Word of God, uplifted with anointed worship, refreshed by the presence of the Holy Spirit, and to experience the miraculous filling power of God. Join Pastor Sean for these powerful miracle services at the Bahamas Union Teachers Hall, Friday, March 8 at 7 p.m. and Saturday, March 9 at 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. For more information, call 242-646-9494. Your life will never be the same.